At the end of this section, neural networks might feel like a black box to you. And I hope that now you're okay with that. Now you understand why. There's a lot going on, lots and lots and lots of operations. And so it's okay, don't worry about it. Don't try to read the recipe that comes out, especially if you have a thousand layers and in each one there's a thousand units. I mean, that's the sort of scale we're talking about with the big applications. Reading that recipe is gonna make no sense at all to you. That's okay. Remember, at the end of the day, proof of the pudding is in the eating. So take the outputs. The output is the same as any other output. Doesn't matter what model made it, compare it against the value you wanted and see how you're performing. So neural networks, try it first if. Yeah, there is a try it first section here. There are good reasons for this to be the first thing you try. Those good reasons are that you know everything else is not gonna work because other people have already tried similar applications to yours and they figured out that it's useless to try to attack it with a line or a tree or whatever else. I wouldn't try something else for images. If I'm doing image classification, I just go right to neural networks. I learn from the mistakes of others. Speech recognition, language translation is the same. Or if you have a lot of domain expertise and you know that the relationships are really complicated that you're dealing with, well, then you might wanna go straight to here. So it's a good idea if your application is something similar to what other people do, to ask, hey, for data kind of like this, which algorithms tend to work out? And then you start with the simplest among those. Then I'm kind of loath to say this, if you have a lot, 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 lot of data and you don't care how much computing costs, maybe in that situation you might also go right for it. But it is an expensive way to be lazy. Usually a little bit of analytics goes quite a long way to saving money and getting you decent solutions that are simple. All right, so thank you, that's it. You have survived the day and with 30, minutes to spare, so 30 more minutes of alibi, <laughs> and uh, no one knows that you're goofing off, so enjoy. Thank you so much for being here, and I'm here for questions. <laughs>